Hello, and welcome to the Dean Charles Wiley Theater on the campus of the AT&T Performing Arts Center. My name is Bob Forner, and I've been a volunteer docent and usher here at the center since we opened in October of 2009. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about the Potter Rose Performance Hall here in the Dean Charles Wiley Theater. The Potter Rose basically starts off as a giant fishbowl, approximately 100 feet square. Three sides of the theater are covered in glass panels, each panel is about 27 feet tall and about 5 feet wide. There are 66 panels altogether. Because we are on the flight path for Dallas Love Field, the glass panels had to be specially created to deflect sound. Each of the glass panels has a motorized blackout shade that can be raised or lowered remotely in about 90 seconds. When the shades are open, it gives patrons in the theater the ability to look out onto the Dallas sites, city streets, and buildings surrounding the Wiley Theater but it also provides the opportunity for people who are walking down the street to look into the Wiley, see what's going on, or you maybe even see patrons in there enjoying a play. There is only one type of flooring that's used throughout the theater. This is all levels, including the Potter Rose. It is a composite material made up of used plastic bottles. Now, the nice thing about this material is you can screw things into it, you can paint it, and if we totally destroy one of the panels, we can pick it up, replace it, and ship it back to the manufacturer and have them grind it up and make us a new panel. Large sections of the floor are on lifts. There is one lift that actually can be lowered three floors down to the basement. It actually is an elevator lift and we use it to move seats. There are six sections of the floor that are movable. They are nine by nine sections and they are on lifts. They can be raised up to the stage level or terraced down toward the stage. There are two of them that can also be lowered down eight feet to create an orchestra pit when we need one in the hall. These nine by nine sections can also be turned 90 degrees. And so rather than terracing down toward the pit, they could be terraced down toward the center of the building when we convert the Potter Rose into a thrust configuration. There are also two sections of the floor that can be moved aside to make space for vomitorium stairways. Now a vomitorium is a fancy word for saying entering into the middle of or coming out of the middle of. And what it does, it allows our actors to come up to the performance area from in the middle of the audience. The proscenium arch is the large structure that creates the picture frame around a stage. The arch is movable and when it is lowered into the hall it divides the room basically in half. One half is for the traditional stage and one half for audience seating. The arch is also modular. By that I mean that we can narrow it or widen it or fly it out of the room completely. We have three balconies slash seating towers. The center tower across the north end of the building weighs about 60 tons and it includes the two stairwells on either side of the balconies. Now the house right and left balconies each weigh about 30 tons. The seating on these balconies includes the last couple of rows of the orchestra seating and the first and second balcony. The seating towers are suspended from the ceiling by motorized cable system designed by the same company that created the system that moves the scoreboard at the AT&T Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Each balcony can be flown up and out of the seating chamber and into the fly space above. They move about a foot a minute, so raising and lowering them takes quite a while. The side balconies can also be moved six feet horizontally in or out toward the center of the performance space or out closer to the windows. On the northwest corner of the room, we have two pivot doors. Each one of those doors is about 27 feet tall and about 10 feet wide. It basically is two of the glass panels that surround the room and they are used to create a 10 foot wide opening that allows patrons when they're exiting the theater to exit directly into the sidewalk around the room. Now I'd like to show you some examples of how we have integrated all of these features of the Wiley and put them into practical use. The first one is a flat floor and here we have it set up for a private party. You can see the shades are raised and if you look through the glass you can see the Windspear Opera House through the glass. We've also used flat floor for some productions particularly productions that have a special need, such as recreating a football field. And not only did we have a football field on one side of the room, we actually had bleachers for the patrons to sit in on the other side of the room. A proscenium theater is the most common theater configuration that you will see. 
This is actually what you're used to when you walk into a movie theater where all the seats face the stage. In this instance, we fly in the balconies, we lower the proscenium arch, and terrace the seats down toward the stage. Here's another example of a proscenium configuration. Here the theater is configured for thrust, where the audience is on three sides of the stage. We push the balconies out six feet and adjust the terrace floor 90 degrees so that it now points toward the center of the theater as opposed to toward the stage. Thrust configuration, we can accommodate our greatest number of patrons at 575. Now the final configuration that we're going to show you today is our theater in the round. This is where the audience completely surrounds the stage, or in this case, a rustling ring. All the action took place in the ring, on the red carpet surrounding the ring, and on a small raised area just to the left in this picture around the ring. It takes the production team approximately six to 10 hours to completely reconfigure the theater. This does not include the time to install scenery. When we do this reconfiguration, we call it a changeover. Take a look at this time-lapse footage changing the theater from thrust to flat floor. That completes our tour. We'd like to thank you for being with us today. And on behalf of the AT&T Performing Arts Center, we hope that in the not too distant future, you'll be able to join us here at the Wiley to experience our theater machine in person. Thank you. <laughs>